Do you ever wonder what the secret to lasting love is? I think this is a very fair question. It's something that we think about all the time uh, because you look out in the world and it just seems like there's one failed relationship after another. And we are at our core relational beings. We need relationship. This morning, I want to look at this question, this topic of what is it that makes love last? It might not be what you imagine, and it's probably something for most people that seems uh, fairly old-fashioned or boring. Uh, for the last 13 years of my life, uh, I was living in China. I was teaching in a university. I was researching uh, family structures there, and I owned a company. And my company helped people do relationships better. So this is a topic that I'm very uh, passionate about. This morning, I want to assert that fulfilling long-lasting love is anchored not in the unpredictable waves of passion and feelings, but rather it is anchored in steadfast commitment that you and I make and then uphold. So this morning, just to give you a quick roadmap, we're going to look at what is commitment. Then we're going to look at the impact of commitment on relationships, look at a few possible uh, objections to this thesis, and then we'll wrap it up. So firstly, what is commitment? Well, in the context of a romantic relationship, that would be loyalty, it's dedication, and it's a deliberate choice to do whatever it takes to make a relationship work in the good and in the bad. But you say, Josh, it's not just about commitment. There's other parts of love and relationships, and that's absolutely correct. Uh, Dr. Robert Sternberg came up with what's called the triangular love theory. Some of you might have heard of this, and commitment is a piece of that, which is what we're mainly talking about, but also there's passion and intimacy. So I think it's appropriate to briefly touch on those two parts and see how they relate to commitment. First of all, passion. You know what it is. It's that physical pull you feel. It's the butterflies in the stomach. It's, it's the heart racing. It's what makes you feel amazing, right, in relationships. It burns really bright in the beginning, but then it flickers, right, and it fades. We know in research some of you might not know this, but now you will. We know in research that that feeling only lasts somewhere between six months and three and a half years. It's short-lived. But what about intimacy? Well, intimacy could be described as the art of knowing and being known. I know you. You know me. I want you to see into me. Into me see. Into me see. Okay? It's a vulnerability and a transparency between people. But you see, that can only be achieved when both of the people that are in the relationship, uh, they feel safe and secure, right? They've got to know that the other person is not going to cut and run at the first sign of trouble. So you see, it's commitment, actually, that's fueling intimacy. Passion it starts the fire of love and it's fun for a little while and intimacy keeps it warm but it's commitment that keeps that fire burning steadily in 2008 I went through a divorce the aftermath of that was gut-wrenching some of you might have been there before uh, there were feelings of betrayal failure uh, profound grief because divorce really is just a kind of death, okay? It's a death of promises and commitment made between two people. I realize now, 15 years removed, that what was missing was not passion or a lack of good communication. Really what was missing was a deep-rooted sense of commitment between me and my partner. I now see the irreplaceable value of commitment in relationships. And I use that word value. It is valuable. That's not just my opinion. There's, there's research to back this up. 
Dr. John Gottman, some of you might have heard of him. He's considered to be the foremost expert in the world on personal relationships. And this is what he says. Couples who demonstrate a high level of commitment are 80% more likely to maintain a stable and satisfying relationship over the long term. Partners are more likely to work through difficulties in constructive ways, less likely to consider divorce, and more likely to develop a shared meaning for their life together. Now, when I talk about commitment, okay, I'm not talking about... Uh, I've just got to, it's, it's a relationship that has to be endured and put up with. You know, I've got to endure this hellish relationship. No, no, it's, it's about two partners working constructively to learn to thrive together. I do think it's fair, though, to address some possible objections to this idea. Some will say, Commitment dampens passion. Others, uh, it signifies a loss of my personal freedom. To those people, I would say that commitment actually is what transforms the fleeting into the lasting. It doesn't end the excitement of passion. Instead, it deepens it and it enriches it and it makes it more enduring. To those who say it's a loss of personal freedom, I would say it's not about giving up your individuality. It's not about giving up your self-identity, but rather it's about understanding that you have a, par a partner that is absolutely committed to you in every way, and they're supporting you in your personal aspirations as you support them in theirs. Two people journeying together for life. Now, as we close... I want you to imagine, just for a second, a world where there's no commitment. It doesn't exist. Relationships are transient. If you can even define a relationship without the concept of commitment, trust is scarce. The depth of intimacy that we all love doesn't exist. How does that sound? I hope that you're starting to see that commitment is no tiny, insignificant piece of love. Rather, it's the anchor of stability that turns fleeting romance into fulfilling relationships. Together, I hope that we can learn to foster better relationships, not ones that just have to be endured and put up with, but deeply, deeply fulfilling relationships. All the while remembering that the key to these rewarding forms of love is a boring old thing we call commitment. Right? Here we go. Thank you.